Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men, <clears throat> excuse me, that are doing this work in sincerity and in truth across the four corners of the earth. And much love to the innumerable multitude and the 130 believers out there. To you all, I say Shalom. I'm the brother Yeshia from the West Palm Beach branch. And uh, I pray, Lord willing, that this lesson is edifying through the spirit. All right. So uh, this is an article from Fortune magazine. And see, man, you can't say that we haven't been <sighs> telling the world, man. You know, I, I want to get a definition. I want to get a definition. You know, these people can't say that they have not been told all of the, the everything is lining up, man. Everything is lining up. It's, it's so uncanny, man. All right, so I want to get the definition of the word warning. It says, a statement or event that indicates a possible or impending danger, problem, or other unpleasant situation. It says, cautionary advice and advance notice of something. So we've been giving these people uh, all of these Right, we've been given statements that indicate possible and not even possible. We've been given statements that indicate impending danger, problems, and unpleasant situations. Right? We've been given cautionary advice. We've been giving advance notice of something, which is ultimately prophecy. Prophecy means to say before. Okay? We've been giving these people all of the things that Yahweh Bashem Shai has commanded us. And now we see the fullness of this thing, man. I'm going to get the description. I'm going to go into this article. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. Right? So we've given these people warning. We've given them cautionary advice. We've given them advance notice about what's about to come down the pipeline. We've given them statements that uh, indicate impending danger and problems that will put them in unpleasant situations. All right, so now to get into this article, it says, uh, it says, Elon Musk asks people to upload their medical data to X, which is formerly Twitter, so his AI company could learn to interpret MRIs and CT scans. So you're telling me the same guy who's now has a seat at the table within the government, the same guy who is in control of uh, robotic technology, the same guy who is doing Neuralink to be able to put implants in people, what we've been prophesying about is requesting your medical data? Come on, man. Come on. When, when do you have the wisdom to wisen up? When does it hit you in your 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 frontal lobe, right? Your cortex to say, hey man, you know, these great millstone dudes might be on to something. All right. We tell you that when you go into the word, when you go into Revelation 13, which I'm gonna get, but you go into the root of those words. Matter of fact, let me just go there now. It's probably the only scripture I'm going to get. Maybe the spirit allowed me to get another one. I, I, another one just popped in my head as I said that. You know, we, we be beating this upon the head because this is fair warning, right? And every time some new information comes out, we go ahead and we dig into it so the people are aware. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive uh, M-R M A R K in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So, as we go into that, let me go into that word M-A-R-K, right? Let me see here. We call it the M-O-T-B for short. But in, in the Greek, the word there is karagma, which says a stamp, an imprinted mark of the stamp of, uh, on the forehead or the right hand, as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist, a, bar, a mark branded upon horses, thing carved sculpture of idolatrous images. It says a stamp, a graven, a M-A-R-K, a etching, 
So this is ultimately something that they're going to put into your body. But if you go into the root word of the etymology there, the next word that you'll get is carox, which it says to sharpen to a point the idea of scratching a pail or a stake. So this is the tool that they use to put the caragma in you, right? To put that uh that MOTB in you, put that uh that, that implant in your body. Okay? So now when you go into the final one, right, the word there is grapho, okay? It says to write with reference to the form of letters, to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment, paper, or other material. The other material is gonna be yo ass. You you wicked Israelites and you heathen to write with reference to the contents of the writing to express in written characters to commit to writing things not to be forgotten. Write down record. And guess what? Guess what a part of that? Your medical data is something that they don't want to be forgotten. They want to know what your medical situations are. They want to know what you what medications you take. They want to know how often you take it. They want to know your doses. They want to know your medical concerns and your medical needs. It says, use the things which stand written in the sacred books to write to one by writing in a written epistle to give information, directions to fill with writing, to draw up in writing, compose. You see that? To grave, especially to write. So they're going to engrave your information inside of this karagma, inside of this M-A-R-K, so that they can have more control. They can know what's going on. Right. This is the mindset of the so-called white nation, the Edomites. OK, this is what they want to do. Why is he asking you to upload freely? Upload. OK, y'all got to understand. Let me look this up. It's a um, medical medical. I forget what it's called. And there are HIPAA laws. All right. Medical information. Let me see. Is private unless you you have the right to. Uh, give it to anybody, but let me see here. I put medical information is private. It says, yes, medical information is considered private and should not be shared without a patient's consent as protected by laws like HIPAA and the United States. And see, I knew it was HIPAA because I've worked in medical, uh, I'm, I've worked in medical environments. I've worked in environments with people with disabilities, with medical conditions. So I knew it was HIPAA. It says, which ensures individuals have the right to control how their health information is accessed and used, meaning only authorized health care providers can view and share relevant medical details. But if you openly share it yourself, it's nothing nobody could do about it. OK, so this is the thing about these people, man. They've already they'll get on social media like that's like dudes in the hood. They'll get on social media and they'll they'll. um be telling the the cops how many drugs and guns they got, not even realizing it. So now you're doing the same thing. You're telling your enemy what your problem is, thinking that he's going to try to help fix it. So, and, and people started actually posting this. This is so mind-blowing, man. All right? It says, in Elon Musk's world, AI is the new MD. All right? It's like medical doctor. The ex The ex-owner is encouraging users to upload their medical test results such as CT and bone scans to the platform so that Grok, which is X's artificial intelligence chatbot, can learn how to interpret them efficiently. Try submitting X-ray, PET, MRI, or other medical images to Grok for analysis, Musk wrote on X last month. This is, this is still early stage, but is already quite accurate and will become, become extremely good. Let us know where Grok gets it right or needs work. It turns out Grok needs work. The AI successfully analyzed blood test results and identified breast cancer, according to some users, but it also grossly misinterpreted other pieces of information, according to the physicians who responded to Musk's posts. In one instance, Grok mistook a textbook case of tuberculosis for a herniated disc or a spinal stenosis. In another, the bot mistook a mammogram of benign breast cysts for an image of testicles. So there creating they might say oh it's messing up now but they're creating the ai system to be able to recognize medical concerns so once they put the c hip in you with any type of technology they might be able to tell you what the hell is going on within your body without even having you having to tell them anything but see this is this is this is the end man we're at the end okay 
they're, they're, these AI systems, they only grow with more intelligence. Okay? It says his Musk has been interested in the relationship between healthcare and AI for years, launching the brain chip startup Neuralink in 2022. The company successfully implanted an electrode that allows a user to move a computer mouse with their mind. So you don't think that it's uncanny that this man is connecting the dots between health, the MOTB, and AI technology. But people just go along with the getting along. Oh, he has money. Oh, he's he's intuitive. He's inventive. You know? Not knowing that they... See, they even mentioned this. They says... Medical information shared on social media isn't bound by Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, the federal law that protects patients' private information from being shared without their consent. That means there's less control over where the information goes after a user chooses to share it. So they can do anything with your medical information after that. Because, you know, if you, once you share it, it's no longer private information. Okay. So this is this is what this is the the situation that we're in now, where uh, people they and they the thing the thing is they think he'll help them, they'll show their concerns and he'll he they think he'll step out and help them. He has an agenda and that look. Now I'm not saying that it's gonna be up under this guy. The C hip is gonna come directly under him through Neuralink and nothing like that, but the work that he's doing is gonna have. Uh, essential part in it even if the government is taking and doing running their own tests or they say hey we need the information that you gathered this dude is still playing an important part in this in this prophecy man all right he's too into it okay it says um the privacy dangers grok may present aren't fully known because x may have privacy protections not known by the public according to matthew mccoy assistant Pref professor of the medical ethics and health policy at University of Pennsylvania, he said other he said users share medical information at their own risk. As an individual user, would I feel comfortable contributing health data? He told the New York Times, absolutely not. But you gotta people already they showed a picture of a guy that they already submitted his. So you don't think that people are about to be doing this regularly? submitting their health information, they'll think, oh, well, maybe it's something they can do about it. Maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe this is advancing medical technology, you know? But see, ultimately, if you have true medical concerns, what you need to do is believe in the Lord, first and foremost. All right, let me, I always bring this scripture. Well, I don't always bring it out, but I always think about this scripture. All right, um, there's two of them, really. Matthew 4 and 24. It says, and his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those that were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had that had the palsy, and he healed them. So people with all types of diseases, disabilities, sickness, and infirmities, those were all healed by Yahweh by Shema Shai. And a lot of times those are spirits which need to be cast out. But the Lord said he, he was healing all of those things, man. All right. And so if you really if you really got a medical condition, just believe in the Lord and the Lord can heal you of it, man. All right. Matthew 17 and 14. It says, and when they were come come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed for oft times he falls into the water and often, excuse me, falls into the fire and often to the water, and I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. So this is what happened in this situation is, first off, when you go into the root of the word lunatic, it means uh, to have epilepsy, okay? So when you have epilepsy, you have seizures, especially you have something known as a grand mal seizure. That's when you see people just fall out and then their eyes are rolling and their hand and their body is shaking and twitching and they might start foaming at the mouth and they have no control. That's called a grand mal seizure. All right. So this is what was happening to this young man. He was ha he had epilepsy and he says he's sore vexed and he oftentimes fall into the fire and often into the water. Why? It's because he immediately loses control over his body and he falls and he has a grand mal seizure. That's what was taking place. But after this, the Lord cured him. 
Right? It says, Then your house shall answer and say, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. Right? You got to have faith. It says you got to have faith. Be Rejoice not that you can cast out devils in the name of the Lord, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. But it says, And Yahweh shall rebuke the devil, which lets you know he had a spirit on him, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that hour, from that very hour. So this is how you know that it's spirits on these people who be having these uh, types of situations. A lot of these medical conditions is because it's a spirit that's lingering on you, and you just haven't. And you, how can a doctor heal that? You see, that's what people don't understand. How can a doctor heal a spirit? You got to be tapped in with the Holy Spirit in order to even consider that. Okay? But it says, Then came to the disciples to Yahweh apart and said, why could we not cast them out? And because Yahweh said unto him, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. So you got to pray, you got to fast, and you got to believe, man, when you're doing these things. You know? And, and just you got to believe more than this devil, Elon Musk, will believe he can do something with his science and his AI, his technology. You got to believe as much as he believes the left hand side can profit and work for people. You got to believe even more that the right hand side don't need this nonsense in order to prevail, man. Right. This dude is getting free medical data and he is not a doctor. Right. This dude ain't a doctor. This dude ain't got a degree. And even all them doctors be through anyway. But this dude, the people are uploading MRIs, CT scans, PET scans, bone density scans. You see, and this is just the beginning. You're going to have people uploading all kinds of stuff, sending him all kinds of information, thinking he's going to help them. So they're going to have a large, vast variety of people that are thinking they're submitting their information for their good. But really, they're just gathering information on how to make this AI system more in control. Right. Identifying these illnesses and sicknesses, man, we living in a, a truly corrupt world. Let me um, let me get this verse, man. You know, first off. Let me get I got two verses I want to get, you know, first off, the Lord, the Lord is looking after. He's going to deliver us from these things. Revelation three and ten, because I was kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see, they're going to find all of these different reasons why uh, uh, it's best for you to take it, right? But we, hey, man, fuck an fuck a, a illness. What's an illness to your how about Shemir al Shai, man? They can be healed. They can be done away with. They said it was healed that very hour. Did y'all understand that? He said it, the man was healed that same very hour, Okay. What hospital you can you go to when they can tell you in one hour you're going to be healed? It don't exist. It says, uh, you know, this is how doctors in, in America think. The thought process of them is a cured, uh, a cured uh, patient is a lost customer. That's how they view your health. And, you know, we said the other day, America has the worst health in the whole world, with the most obese nation, but yet our health care is the most expensive. All these other countries got free health. We're the ones supposed to have free health care, but nah, they want you to die. They want you to get fat and obese. They want you to pay for your for uh, you know what I'm saying? Pay for your health. Shit, you go and get you if you get a sandwich. Like we got Publix now. It's like a big grocery store. You can go to the Publix Deli. Uh, and it's the same way going Subway, too. You know, I ain't been to Subway in years, but the same way going Subway, too. They'll say, hey, you can get a sandwich for $10, but if you want a salad, it's going to be $13. You know, it's like shit. You know, you're charging me more for the health, you see. And so it's just going to keep amplifying. It's going to keep getting worse. And these people are not going to see until it's too late, man. This is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands could not perform their enterprise. So Esau crafty as hell. This is crafty as hell. Bro, is that not crafty? 
you know, instead of like doing some rigorous test or instead of people he going to, he don't got to go to the hospital to ask. He like, hey, y'all send me y'all medical records. And my ace, I mean, AI assistant that I'm working on is going to perfect his craft to the point where you're going to be able to do it on your own. Do you see the craftiness in that where he's just manipulating people? Getting above HIPAA law, that's supposed to be private information, but he's getting people to submit them willfully so that he can create his own system, man. Right? But they, the, the CIP going to come out and it's going to do its thing, but it's not going to accomplish what he wants to be accomplished. It's not going to, you're not going to see him the elect, and that's the ones he wants, and you're not going to have it. You see? So this, this place is completely wayward, man. It's upside down. And you wonder why your Haubash Shah has to destroy this place. They show us more and more every day why it has to go down, man. Because this is, it's getting out of hand, right? We tell you that this is going to have your financial information on there. You're not going to be able to buy and sell. And we told you that it was going to have your medical information. You know, it's going to have your identity on there, right? Your social security information. All of this stuff is going to be written in on that implant that all of these people are about to take and put in their body to be destroyed according to Revelation, the 14th chapter, man. And are we excited about it? Heavens, yeah. Because this place is 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 wicked. And now the wicked going to have to burn with it, man. Uploading your damn medical information for the world to see on a, uh, a large website. This is This just don't make no sense, man. You know, so I'm going to wrap it up with that. I know it wasn't too long, but through the spirit, man, I had to expose this dude more than he already been exposed. But he just don't give a damn. Now he got a seat at the table. He gave uh, Donald Trump billions of dollars. Now he's inside the government. He ain't trying to make it seem like he's going to do something good, man. They all about to make this place worse and worse and worse, man. And you are warned through the spirit and power of your house from the apostles and elders and the prophets, man. So, hey, I pray, Lord, willing this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, all the honor, all the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, or Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and mercy to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.